Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've arrived in solitude under the guise of Mandrake, wealthy Breton merchant. And it looks like I may be a little late for the wedding. But here we are. Oh, Victoria, it's so lovely to see you. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day. Please, eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Please, enjoy yourself. Thank you, Victoria. It was a pleasure making your acquaintance. You. I still think my boys should have had a traditional Nord wedding. Outside, dum, dum, in the cool mountain air. Victoria may be pretty, but does she have the right hips for the job? I want grandchildren, and lots of them. Right, it's time to change into my Guess. business attire. My husband Ace here and I thank you for coming to our reception. We thank you for sharing the love we have for each other. In this courtyard, there are no storm cloaks. There are no Imperials. There are only people come to celebrate a union of two souls. So make merry. May you all be as happy in your life. Victoria! No! The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Hmm. Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Okay. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. Well, there will be no chaos. As best I can. You get back to the sanctuary. Okay. I don't need your help. I think we've got this well in hand. Take the wedding ring, take the dress, keep those funky sandals, wedding wreath. Okay, well, guess we're done. Why are they hurting? Help! What? What the hell? That damn. <laughs> you know, now if he wasn't here. We wouldn't be having any problems. I could have just rejoined the wedding party. 
All right, let me get out of here. Good day, soldiers. Have a have a great time. Sorry about the loss of your queen. All right, that was sloppy as hell. But let me get back to the um, Dark Brotherhood location. Alright, Astrid. I appreciate your looking out for me, but it was really unnecessary and it caused the loss of life that could have been avoided. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Well, all I did was drop a gargoyle on her head. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Yes, the Blushing Bride now serves Sithis in the Void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, uh, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Hmm, can summon a spectral assassin. Interesting. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next contract. This Emperor business? Well, it does involve everyone. So, I see another knife As has I been said, added. Go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next contract. This Emperor business? Well, it does involve everyone. You know? You really need to do something about that skull. But I'll take my time. When I'm good and ready, I'll speak to Gabriella. Let's not forget who the Night Mother speaks to. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next contract. It does involve everyone. All right, now that I'm dressed a little bit more comfortably. Let's see what Gabriella wants. Gabriella. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, 
The security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. I understand. Gaius Morrow will die. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Cephas. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Oh, lava. So that's how she did it. Tell me about Dragonbridge. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. What will killing Gaius Morrow accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but... distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Do you know Gaius Morrow's schedule? No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. <laughs> Yours and everyone else's. And what can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined, yet simple tastes. Hmm. Also a woman with a bit of wit as well. Thank you. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. Tell me, sister, are the stories true? Oh, you mean in that manor house during the thunderstorm? <laughs> what can I say? It happened. Just like you heard. To kill triplets secretly, and then have the whole thing blamed on the mother. Remarkable. I am but a humble instrument of Sithis. Our dread father guides me. Therefore, failure is an impossibility. All right, well. We will end here. And next time, I will hunt down this Gaius Morrow. Until then. Yeah.